Hi everybody, my name's Scott and welcome back to my channel Trauma Team Racing. We're going to continue the trend of triple screen setup videos but this time we're going to look at how to set up triple screens correctly in Assetto Corsa Competizione. We're going to look at how to do this with Nvidia Surround and without Nvidia Surround to make sure that everybody's included and also how to make sure that your field of view is set up exactly where you want it. So if this is the video you're looking for, sit back, buckle up, classes in session. this tutorial I'm going to split things up into several sections. One thing to note is that there's going to be several repeated sections from my previous video on how to set up triple screens correctly for Automobilista 2. So if you feel you don't need any of these sections please feel free to skip ahead to the relevant chapter. Firstly we're going to look at how to set up Nvidia Surround but important to note this isn't mandatory so if you feel you don't need this please feel free to skip to the next chapter. Secondly we're going to look at how to calculate your field of view correctly and also how to measure the angles of your monitors. Again, I'll repeat, these were covered in my previous video, so if you feel you don't need these, feel free to skip ahead. I will then go into how to measure your monitors correctly for a set of cause of competizione, and then how to input the data correctly into the simulator. Then, if all things have gone correctly, things should be singing sweetly. Let's get into it. Setting up NVIDIA Surround I would personally consider using NVIDIA Surround mandatory to set up ACC for triple monitors and would encourage everybody to do it this way. There is a workaround to do it without and I will show you this later in the tutorial. First you are going to want to go to the start menu and open up NVIDIA control panel. Here you are going to want to click on configure surround, select span displays with surround and then hit configure. This will open the setup surround window and at this point you must note the order of your screens. Here they are displayed in large white numbers, working from left to right they are numbered 2, 3 and 1. Now click enable surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3 and 1. Now click apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the resolution menu and select bezel corrected resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click apply again and then surround with bezel correct resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9 and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable but you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. 
Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up for ACC is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, we want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. This section is for those that wish to avoid using NVIDIA Surround, but I would encourage everyone to please use NVIDIA Surround as this workaround is an absolute faff, as ACC will not spam the displays for you if you are not using Surround. First you want to head to this address, where we will download a bit of free software called Simple Runtime Windows Editor. This is going to trick your computer into spanning your display. I will leave the link in the description below. Once the page is open, click on the latest releases, and then open the zip. Allow it to download, open the file, open the application, and then extract all. Once this is done, open the program and you will be presented with this window. Now you want to fire up ACC. You cannot see it here because it is opened on a different monitor. Once ACC has loaded, click Select Running Application from the top, click on AC2, and then hit Open. Now you're going to want to change your width and multiply your monitor's pixel width by 3. In my case, 2560 times 3 is 7680. Make sure your pixel height is also set correctly. Mine is 1440. Make sure X and Y are both set to 0. Enter this and press Set. Now the display will be spanned and in the center. It is important to note that ACC must be running in windowed mode for this to work. Now click Save Profile and name it. Here I have named it Demo1. It is important to note that the display might revert back to normal when booting up a race. If this happens, simply load the Save Profile again and the screens will be spanned. In short, use NVIDIA Surround, because this is a massive pain. Inputting the data into a Seto Corsa Competizione. This next section is the same regardless of whether you are using NVIDIA Surround or not. From the main menu screen, head to Options. Now select Video, and we need to make sure the correct resolution is selected. For NVIDIA users, this will be the bezel corrected resolution, as seen here. For those not using NVIDIA, it will be a single monitor's resolution. Make sure that triple screen is enabled. To set the triple screens up, you will need to boot up a race, select Drive, and then hit Escape to access this menu. From here, head to View Settings. Use the arrow on the right here to cycle over to triple and widescreen settings. Here, we enter our calculated distance from the screen, our screen's width we measured earlier, the bezel width, and the side screen angle. Once all is entered correctly, hit Save, and you can exit this menu and head back into the simulator. All things having gone swimmingly, you will now have gone from this to this. Hopefully, if all things went well, you're now sat on your simulator forgetting about all that money you spent on your triple monitor setup. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far. We recently passed 100. Welcome to Trauma Team Racing. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. In my next video, we're going to look at how to set up triple screens correctly for iRacing. So until next time, good night, good evening, good morning. See you in the next one.